All right, on this episode of Time Force Gamers, we're gonna talk about downright bizarre video games. This is a very interesting book. The reason I say that, it's all about humor. There's a lot of video game books out there about the history, the hidden gems, collecting, and a bunch of others, but not that often on just humor. <laughs> And I find that interesting. Michael Thomason, who won the Guinness World Records of video game collecting in 2011, wrote this book. And he did a darn good job on it. The book's a little over 200 pages. It talks about a whole bunch of video games that just crossed the line. It talks about some of the weirdest games I've ever heard of. Like, did you know there was a Chase the Chuck Wagon video game? Princess Tomato and Zelda Kingdom? Ninja Golf? Yeah, when I think about golf, the first thing that comes to my mind is definitely ninjas. They even made a journey game. Revenge of the Beast Steak Tomatoes and way more outdoor games. This book is very unique for that. There's some really awesome games on here too, such as Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, Lollipop Chainsaw, or From Jim, Eternal Darkness, Catherine, and a bunch of others. And most of the games are about two to four pages, depending on how big these games are and how weird they are. <laughs> I like this book a lot because it's humorous. It's not just focused on serious stuff. And especially with this rough time in the world, this book could come in handy. And the cool thing about this book is, the humor is not just one thing. There's sarcasm, there's goofiness, there's raunchy, there's so many different things, there's slapstick. I love it. It was even forwarded by the creator of the Intellivision, Key Robinson, which is pretty cool. Now if you look in this book, the middle section is this whole big chunk of white pages. I wonder what's in it. Ah, there's a disclaimer on it. The following chapter may contain content that may offend some readers. Others may experience adverse effects such as hair loss, decreased libido, damage to organs, post nasal drip, loss of appetite, or symptoms resulting in death. Well, that sounds like fun. I'm very interested. Let's see what it's about. Ooh, porn porn. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Overall, the book is awesome. I highly recommend it. If I had to give it a score, I'd give it about a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day. Here's a message of here's a message of Cyberdello. If you pick up the box of Relax Laxative, a timer will appear on the status window with seconds to a major blowout. Run to the nearest toilet to relieve yourself or die of embarrassment. I don't know if I want to still read this book. My favorite ones are Cyberdello, Seaman, I mean Seaman, Fat Princess, and a bunch of others. I love that this book likes to make you laugh. That's one thing that drew me into this book, that it makes me laugh. And I laughed, I laughed a lot throughout this book. I never thought there would be a game about a cyber armadillo. <laughs>